Still hanging out at RSA 2017. They even let us outside, which they do every once in a while. My name is Matt Stevenson. I am with Silence, and I am here with Mike Resong. I'm going to call you the Splunk guy, but I think your title is probably a little more intense than that. It is indeed, Matt. Thank you. I'm a technical alliance director here at Silence, but I'm really just the architect for the strategic business development. Uh, just the architect? Just. Probably goes a little deeper than that. Maybe a little bit, but I do all the you know technical uplifting for any of the business operations we have in, for partnerships. So Splunk is really kind of establishing itself as the connective tissue, not just for security, but really for the IT industry in general. What do we've got going on with them that makes it so interesting? Yeah, outstanding. So in most cases, when we transfer information from all the great technical information we get on our security, on our endpoints that we collect, all that forensic information, all device information, we can port it out to a SIM. But is it that interesting? Does it make people's lives a lot easier just to get a raw feed on SIM? And so what we developed was the Silence Protect app from Splunk, for Splunk, and we can take that information and it's an easy way of getting all that information, scalable data, because there's a lot of data, and push that into Splunk. In a convenient dashboard, we can do all your security type operations, all your searches, all your reports, and things like that. If I'm a soldier that's down in the pits of the data center, I'm grinding it out every day and I'm relying on Splunk, I get this information, what am I doing with it? Like, who am I rolling it up to a couple of different parts of the company? Yeah, absolutely. So what you're doing is taking all that information and as a security operations professional, you have got a lot of work to do on analysis, whether it's a threat, whether it's a device out of date, somebody's got to have a dashboard and somebody's got to have information that's true. And somebody's got to take that information and deliver it to satisfaction that somebody needs. Whether it's a report or I got to do an investigation, I need that data at hand. And I don't want to go to 75 consoles to look for it. I want to go to a convenient place that has all the metrics I need firsthand. It has all the reports I need firsthand. And that's what we really uh, deliver here with the app. So I've talked my, my ownership into going for this thing, and what, what burden have I just placed on my own shoulders? Sounds like there's a lot. Uh, there's not a lot. So all you do is got to download the app. You got to install it in Splunk Enterprise. You got to integrate it, which is very straightforward and easy with the threat data reports, which is a consolidation of all the information about threats and devices and who's out of date and all that stuff into a convenient dashboard. Now that gives you your, your, you know, your one-stop shop, your dashboard. I'm looking at this, I get the information out of you really quickly. And also with our syslog feed, which again, takes all the information, parses it into the Splunk database, same place. But now I've got all this uh, real-time alerting. Now I've got all this tracking ability for any alerts or exploits or any sort of script information that I'm looking for in my environment. And I really, that's important to me and I need to know about right away. So at the end of it all, we got two networks that are pretty similar. Both of them are using Silence. One of them is using Splunk. Why does the Splunk network win? The Splunk network wins because there's a lot of business and technical reasons to do that. The business reasons are I got one place to look for everything. Everything is parsed in properly into a convenient dashboard that now I can have my security operations team just look at one place. I have to go searching. I save a lot of time doing that. That's prone to error, co copy and pasting things from all different kinds of places. But now I've also made all the reports I need. I just hit one button and boom, I have what I need. Now, for security operations perspective, I get all that data now. It's searchable across all my Silence Protect information. Plus, I can merge that or search that with any other Splunk data that's already there from other threat feeds, network, whatever. So that's really the benefits you get. You take the power of, of the mathematical model of Silence, you merge it with the reporting and analytics power of Splunk, and you really get things that can help you protect your endpoint more in a quicker with lower footprint for your security operations staff. So we've thrown a lot of stuff at you there. You can get even more details by clicking in the links below. If you're looking for information on Silence, you can always find us at www.silence.com. Also, at Silence Inc. on Twitter. Information on Splunk, find it at www.splunk.com, at Splunk on Twitter as well. We've got really interesting data sheet to watch you through on this, and you can also grab the app. Obviously, the helicopters are coming for us. I'm not sure what we did wrong, but they're chasing somebody out of here. Stick around, because there's a lot of more cool stuff to come. Hashtag for the show this week is hashtag RSAC. 2017.